Hey guys, welcome back. In the last part, we have seen how to cache the API and in this part, we are going to see how to mutate the data. Now, what does the mutate mean? Mutate is basically a function to update or revalidate the cache programmatically. For example, after creating a post, we need to tell SWR that, hey, we have just created a new post, so please update the cache. Now, there is an option in the mutate function, which is called should revalidate. If you pass the should revalidate as true, then it will make a new request to update the cache and if it is false, it will not make a new request. Hey wait, it will not make a new request but still update the data. How? Let's see. So let's go to the home page. We have this create post component. Remember we have commented out this create post component. Let's just uncomment this and add the functionality. The functionality is already added, we just need to modify a little bit. So basically we are drilling the props, right? So this set post, let's remove these props. Fine, now just go to create post. Yeah, let's go to create post. We remove this set post. We don't need this. Great, just save this and now, and now we have some errors. So let's commented out this set post. Instead, we need to import the muted function. Now there are a lot of ways to pass the muted function. I'll show you a couple of ways. So just go to the top and import the muted function from SW library. Great, and now, in place of the set post, we are going to call the muted function. Call this and now you need to pass the key. Key means the endpoint, the URL endpoint. Remember the URL endpoint is also works as the key. So we are making the post request to this slash post endpoint and we are getting the data from this endpoint. This post with the query parameter sort and order. So let's copy this key and now just go to a muted function and pass this key. So basically we are telling SWR that hey, we have just updated the data and now you need to make a new request. So let's save this, let's see if it is working or not. We are going to modify this function in a minute, but for now it should be working. Okay, just go to a network tab. I want to show you something. Expected a server HTML to contain a matching form. Huh. Don't worry about this for now. Just go to networks. Cool. Okay, let's create a post. Post. Click on add post and look at this it's making a request the post method and then the second request is to this post with the query parameter sort and underscore order so first request is this axios request this one and the second request is this muted function and you can also see that our data is updated with the post and that is because it makes a new request to get the data that's what the muted function does but remember i told you that you can pass a property which is called should revalidate so should revalidate is by default true, but you can pass this as false. It means it will not make a new request, but how can you update the data? In that case, it gives you the previous data. So the second parameter is the previous data. And here you can also pass a callback function. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy this callback function from the set post and put it here. Okay. So this post is a previous data which is already in the cache. And then we are just adding the data at the first and then just fading the data that's it just save this and now let's see you can see that it will not make a new request to update the data okay mm -hmm. new post okay click on add post and look at this it's only making one request and the data is updated now how can this option be useful it is useful if you are making an optimistic ui optimistic ui what does it mean optimistic ui means just update the data at first and then make the request then after making a request just double check if the data is updated or not seems confusing let me show you so basically the problem with the current approach is we are blocking the render of the ui let me show you mm -hmm. yeah so for now let's say creating a post abc click on add post look at this it's taking around two or three seconds to update the data and at that point the app is idle Right, so user just can't make around two or three posts um, in sequence. So you can solve this using the optimistic UI. So basically the idea is we are gonna mutate the data, but with the revert it is false. And then after making the request, we are gonna mutate the data, or I should say we are gonna mutate the cache, but this time the revalidate is true. Okay, we don't need this previous data because we are gonna get the fresh data, and the true is by default true the should revalidate is true great now what about this we don't have the data so we need to create a fake data so let's create a fake data const fake data we are assuming that the request will be successful like that's the concept of optimistic ui okay 
so we need the id we need the content and we need the created at basically this created at great just put it here beautiful now just grab this fake data and replace this data with the fake data that's it but inside this fake data object i'm also going to add a property which is called client only client only means the data is not yet processed by the server client only true great now using this client only property we can just customize our ui i'm going to show you how it works anyway this post we can just add some typescript so this is i post array not you post i post array great and then oh why have i just created it just add the created it here fine just save this and it should be working we don't need this data we don't need to store this fine just save this great oh the set content empty string we can just put it at the top just before the access request great now let's make a request you can see that the ui will not be blocked so abcd gibberish head post look at this the ui is not blocked but the data is not yet processed look at this still it was still pending and now it is 200 and now look at this sad the post pending the post is getting the data and now it's 200 let me just add more delay around 5000 just go to the package.json instead of 2000 just make this around 6000 just you need to restart the server and give run json server great and now just refresh the page beautiful let's create a post abc add post the ui is not blocked the post is still being processed and now it's processed and now it's to 201 and then it's mutating the data with the should revealed it true and now it's 200 great let's make another one just understand the concept hijack click on add post okay it's still pending the status is still pending but the ui is not blocked the data is updated post sort now what does it mean it means user can user can actually create a lot of post and it will be in the queue look at this it is in the queue this is super useful in the microservice architecture because there are event queue waiting queue and all the concepts of this queue and you can also handle if something goes wrong right okay now just go to index.tsx now remember i told you that you can also get the muted function from the use sw hook so just press comma and look at this we are getting the muted function oh by the way i am on the home page fine and now you can just pass this muted function to this create post again we are just reading the properties which is not needed I'm just gonna show you that this is another way just go to create post just destructure the property mute it fine and now as this muted is coming from the use sw hook and that sw hook has the key which is post sort and created add order descending order whatever this key is attached to this muted function basically it means inside this create post we don't need to pass the key we don't need to pass this key okay make sure you have just commented out this importing muted from SWR and just remove this key fine it will still be working okay but you don't want to delete the properties mm -hmm. now let me show you how you can use this client only to customize the UI okay so basically just go to types.ts and add the client only inside the interface client only which is true oh sorry boolean not true and also add the client only inside the ipost great so the idea is when you are making this request we are passing the data inside this data object we don't have the client id right but we have the client id inside our api cache if and only if if the data is not yet processed by the server because if the data is processed by the server it will make a new request this muted function and that will remove that client only data right because in our db.json we don't have anything called client only so using that client only property we can just customize the ui let me show you just go to postcard.tsx here just destructure the client only client only and now you can just use conditional class name very simple now there are a lot of ways to do it this conditional class name that's not the point of this video anyway just do the simplest way class names if the client only is true i'll add something and if it is not I'll add this one. Oh, I'll add this card with 50 BG dark, whatever. And 
okay so if the client only is true i'll add the border the border class with this i'll also add this card w50 and the bg drive classes again there are a lot of ways to do it you can also use something called class names which is a good react package for this conditional class names anyway just remove these classes and add a curly brace and the class names great okay so what's happening if the client only is true and when it is true it is only true if the second mutate is not yet called when the second mutate is called we are revalidating the data and in that case the client only will be vanished so let's see how it works just go to ui let's create a post you should see a border for six seconds look at this and now one two three four five six seven eight and now look at this we don't have the white border it means the data is processed you go to network let's do it again real madrid click on add post okay it's pending it's pending it's pending the, the ui is not blocked and you are also telling the user that hey the data is not yet processed and now it's revalidating and wait, wait for the six seconds great that's the beauty of the optimistic ui fine now just go to the create comment and add the feature to add a comment okay just go to create post and copy this functionality mm -hmm. copy this and then go to create comment where is the create comment yeah there is the create comment handle submit just remove this handle submit function and put it here fine so handle submit e dot prevent default id the random id we have the random id the fake data the content we don't have the content instead we have the comment so content is comment and then created add and the client only is true import the muted from the sw library great and then we need to pass the key mm -hmm. we don't do that but before that just remove the post and this should be comments the type it should be i comment pretty simple stuff guys i comment great the fake data and the should revalidated is false fine set content this should not be set content oh not set content set content it should be set comment great and then axios should be auto imported yep imported the url this is not post instead this is post with the comment id slash comments so just grab the comment id we need to grab the comment id just give me a second before that just modify the data it should be content is equal to comment sorry content is equal to comment great anything else yep we just need to pass the muted key and the url okay <laughs> so the idea is just go to the post id page from here i can get the muted key this one this is my muted key just copy this just go to create comment and pass the muted key as the first value and then the second muted also pass this muted key and the should revalidate is true don't worry and what about the post id we can just grab this post id from the property that's the purpose of the property so post id just go to post id.tsx and here to this create comment component we can just pass the post id that's it i guess all the problems are solved now nope. yeah i comment oh i haven't imported i comment come on so it import it save this good yeah now the last thing is left which is just go to the comment card and just give a signal to the user that hey the data is not yet processed mm -hmm. just copy this code and put it here we just need to destructure this uh, actually you know what i'm just going with data.client only and then class name just remove this and put the curly brace because we are going to execute from javascript class name save this and that's it i guess let's see just go to a post it's getting the comments it's taking six seconds to get the data okay comment my comment so much creativity add comment okay we have the white border the data is not yet processed oh what the heck we don't have the comment why just go to a network tab and you know what just go to a json server you don't need to go let me just go to the package.json and decrease the delay to two seconds let's restart the server 
Oh come on my VS code. Okay, oh. it is freezed. Server is running. Just let me double check this what's going wrong. Refresh. Let's go to a network tab. Okay, let's clear the network tab. Let's create a comment. Comment two. Sorry, one. Click on add comment. Mm -hmm. This is two zero one, and then it is two zero zero. Then why am I not? Why am I not getting the comments? The response is an empty array. Let's go to the headers. The post ID is seven one four, and this is. Oh, I know. Aha. Uh -huh. I guess you have noticed that. Let's go to create comment. Where is the create comment? Here is the create comment, and here we have not changed this URL. That's a silly mistake. Probably you have noticed that. So it should be this URL. Fine. We have changed this. Great. Now it should be working. Let's see. Let's create a new comment. Com to click on add comment. Fine. With the white border and now it should be revalidated. Yep, great. So yeah, that's all about the mutated. That's all about the optimistic UI. This is again highly useful in the microservice architecture. So I guess that's all about this part. In the next part, we are going to see how pagination works in SWR library. So see you in the next part. Bye.